Uh, it's a pleasure to be here, everybody. My name is Steve Chan. And uh, coincidentally, uh, Michael mentioned that, yeah, you know, it's uh, President Trump is the 45th president of the, of the United States, and he's running in District 45. Well, I'm running for state senate in District 17. And my daughter's favorite player in baseball is Keith Hernandez, New York hey. Mets, number 17. Hey. That's a coincidence. But I represent Bensonhurst, Dyker Heights, Bay Ridge, Kensington, Bath Beach, Gravesend, and uh, Slither, uh, Slither of Bay Ridge. I stand here before you today not as a politician. I'm here as your neighbor. I'm here as a friend. I'm here as somebody who loves America. I love America so much that I served in the United States Marine Corps for six years. <laughs> After that, I joined the NYPD. My, my public service continued. I joined the NYPD and I retired as a sergeant, the executive officer, second in command of the crime scene unit right here in Brooklyn. <laughs> I also served 10 years in our school's PTAs, uh, student leadership teams. I was the Title Chair, Title One Chairperson over in PS112. I oversaw, oversaw the spending of millions of dollars over six years Whoa. of federal funds. And you know what? If me, an ordinary citizen, a regular public school father, I can oversee the spending of millions of dollars to put them wisely where our children, our teachers, our schools yes. need it, why can't I oversee the spending of the seven billion dollars that's allotted to Floyd Bennett Field. Seven billion dollars. I want everybody to do the math for a second. Do the math. That's seven thousand million dollars. They don't want to tell you that. They want to say seven billion dollars because seven is a very insignificant number. When, when you're talking about seven thousand million dollars spent and allotted for Floyd Bennett Field, the new American Dream version 2.0 folks, if Hoko had seven thousand dollars in her pocket and I say, hey, can I have a dollar? Can I have a dollar so I can clean the streets on 86th Street? So I can pull up two, three sanitation trucks and recruit the bottle pickers and homeless people, our homeless veterans, our poor people. Hey, you know what? Steve Chan is gonna give you $15, $20 an hour and all you gotta do is pick up all the debris and toss it in the back of that truck. In one night, the entire neighborhood of Bensonhurst will be clean for maybe $100,000. But you know what? Governor Holko says, no. This $7,000 is going to Floyd Bennett Field. I'm not giving you a dollar of it. And that's why I stand before you here today. Everybody lately in the last five years, somebody somebody came along, Carl Heastie, Carl Heastie, and said, hey, you know what? It's a great idea to let all the bad guys out of jail. So let's let them out of jail. And now these are career criminals that become homeless. And now they want to build homeless shelters in our backyards, in our bedrooms, to house these. As a cop of 27 years, I know how much damage five of these criminals can wreak on a neighborhood. And when we round up those five guys, the neighborhood stays quiet for the next three, four months because they're in jail. We're talking about 150, 200 of these people in each one of these homeless shelters. Do they need help? Yes, they do. Do they have to put them in our backyards? No, they don't. Rikers Island is half empty from, from them, 75% uh, empty actually, from letting them out of jail all these years. It's very easy to convert those jail cells into single room occupancies and have bus service, bus them out. And that's what we can do. There's no community over there to, to, to complain about them. We don't have to have kids walk by them going to school and our, you know, our ladies and our gentlemen, our old, older folks. So I want you to remember these words for a few minutes. The last thing I want you to do is vote for me. The last thing I want you to do is vote for me. I walk around the neighborhood, Bensonhurst, Dyker Heights, Bath Beach, Sunset Park. I walk around the neighborhood, I talk to the neighbors. I'm in there 47 years, and you know what? The voice is all the same. Everybody's worried about their homes. Everybody's worried about their taxes, congestion pricing. Everybody's worried about education and public safety. That's the number one worry, by the way, public safety. Everybody's worrying about the same things. How come, how come nothing is being done about it? You know, when Donald Trump, when President Trump said to Kamala Harris at the last, the end of the last debate, he said, well, you have four years to fix things. You say you're going to do it now, you have four years to fix it. How come you didn't fix it then? Just like my opponent now says, oh, you know what, all of a sudden, hey, guess what? I'm against crime now. But she's a part of the Working Families Party. They hate the cops. They love the migrants. They love the homeless shelters. And they love the criminals. 
So now she's telling you, I want to put the criminals in jail. See? She took everything from my card, the list of things that I want to say on my card and just read them to you. She's playing lying to everybody. She calls up people and tells them, I'm a slumlord. Yes, I am a small homeowner. And she, say, she says, there's bugs in my house. Yes, there was bugs in my house, an allegation made by a squatter. That's cleared up. And my tenant of 25 years in that house, I have not raised her rent for 18 years. Why? Because I know she's 77 years old. She's living on Social Security. I can raise her rent. It's an extra $100 in my pocket. But to her, that's a difference of eating or not eating. And that's why I have not raised her rent in 18 years. And why do I... That's why, that's why, ladies and gentlemen, Steve Chan is not a politician. That's why Steve Chan is a gentleman, a patriot. I know you don't like me to embarrass you, but that's my job as chairman. U.S. Marine, 27 years NYPD, side by side with me. So a lot of people will give speeches, but how many people have actually stood up for this beautiful flag? I know because I'm surrounded by patriots in this room. But remember, when you go to vote, remember who Steve Chan is. He is a man of his word, and he has done what other people want to talk about. He's done it. Thank yeah. you, Steve. Yeah. A few years ago, I said, the last thing I want you to do is vote for me. Well, now I'm done, and this is the last thing. Go vote for you. Vote for your kids. Vote for your fathers, your mothers. Vote for your neighbors. Vote for your friends. Vote for me, the guy who's going to carry your voice to Albany. Thank you very much.